Hey, what's up, you two? Um, I'm back for part two of how to make an SPRX mini. So, um, there's actually some things, a uh, couple functions that you would have needed. Um, I'm also going to add those in the description again. So, once again, we're just going to get the button monitoring. I've already added it, but uh, it's from the paste bin right here, which I will link in the description. Anyways, um, once you have that, this is where you're gonna start the mini thread, the actual for loop. So start and make a for loop, and then this is where you wanna um, have an in-game function. So I already did that. So um, I'll put that in the description as well. Also the offset for it. So just wanna do if in game like that. This is gonna check if you're in game, and if you are, then uh, you can go ahead and make a bool menu loaded. Uh, and this is where you're gonna use it right here. So you're gonna do if this is um, you're gonna put exclamation mark. It means the opposite of menu loaded. So if the menu, it means the menu's not loaded. So it's before it loads, I guess. So this is where you're gonna like store the HUDs and whatnot. So yeah, inside here. Um, you're just gonna put store HUDs I just like that alright so once you have that all I have to do is put else so this is gonna mean the menu is loaded actually there's one thing I forgot to do you wanna do uh, force statement int I equals zero then put I 18 I plus plus do that and then um, just want to show you this button up here uh, decrease this would move it to the left this moves it to the right so I'm just gonna click that now it's centered in the right spot okay so once we have that um, after this ends you can put because uh, it's gonna run this function then you want it to do menu loaded equals true so now else this is going to be if the menu is loaded so this is where you're going to want to put like your button monitoring and things like that um just one thing i'm going to do before uh we actually get started with that is the verification because we're going to add verification in this so um before the menu is loaded you want to verify yourself it is verified so you can just make a bool is verified and then put 18 in the array so I'm going to do I, directional no, zero, because on uh, Modern for three in private match, it's your client number zero. We can make a check for host function later on, so that way if you want to use the menu online or something like that. So now that we've done that, um, you just want to put uh, another one of these functions. I'll just copy it. It's faster. All right. So, in the right inside of this is where the button monitoring is going to be. Um, we're actually going to do uh, make another uh, bool just like this menu open and then array 18 again for the clients. Then you just want to do if again we're going to do opposite. So, if the menu is not open for the client, um, this is where D pad up is going to go. So if you added those buttons, you want to go ahead and do this. Buttons. Detect button. Why did that do that? Detect button. There we go. I. You want to do buttons again. Well, actually, I forgot. <laughs> if. Here we go. And then we want to put up. Okay, so this means if the menu is not open and you hit D-pad up, it will open it. So this is where you're going to put your open menu function. Just like that. See this? Um, this is what we did earlier. The move over time. Open menu. So this is what we're going to do here. 
Alright. So, and then you want to skip to this one. You want to put else. So this is going to be if the menu is open. You want to do like all the other buttons. I'll just do square for now. And then we'll do the scrolling later. Um, square. So this is where you want to put your close menu function right here. Close menu. Just like that. You want to hit save. Like save all. That's also you can like build it and so you know that it works. Uh, let's just build it and see if we have any errors right now. Because we might. Hold on. Yeah, we have errors. Okay. Uh, you can, I know it says 105, but you can right click and uncheck that. So it takes away the errors. Oh. My bad. Okay. Okay, I actually forgot to put another. Um bracket thing so build again see if we have more errors still succeeded okay so now that that's succeeded um we have basically done this um yeah so i'll meet you guys on the ps3 and we're gonna test this out uh what's up guys as you can see we are back at the ps3 so, uh, when you are loading up MW3, it will be a black screen for a little bit. Uh, just don't worry about that, it will load eventually after about 1-2 to two minutes. It took mine about like 40 seconds, I'd say.